apologize for the crappy iPhone video here, but I wanted to show you something. So I'm going to show you the firmware. This is currently 3.61, you can see here. So that is 3.61 for the body. Go back in here. We go up to the EVF or the OVF. Uh, more importantly, here. Once again, I apologize for the iPhone video here. But what I want to show you is look how I have it on. Uh, sorry, I have it on the lower right corner, like the farthest focus point you can have on the OVF. And when it's down there, the corrected AF frame is almost out of the frame lines. It's so far down there, but if you have the focus point basically picked, and I, what I was doing is I basically went into the EVF here, kept playing with this until I was able to finally grab focus, which isn't really realistic, but bear with me. So you can see it's getting focus here. So basically it is able to find the spot really, really close. So I'm going to go back so it's about, you get the same spot, so I don't have to move the camera again. So, uh, this is really hard holding the camera too, or the phone. But, there we go. So it's got that spot. If I go back to the OVF, it's going to confirm that focus point, which is kind of insane because it's so far off. But it does it. This is kind of strange, but it's part of the fact that this lens this is the 35 f2 you see it is getting focus if i go back and review one of these no it's it's switched to the typical uh x pro one where it uh it's so slow that it was jumping back to the back screen uh, anyway it did get that photo and pop in there the focus you know the Depth of field is tiny, but anyway, the, the point that I'm trying to make here is with this 35 f2, the frame lines are kind of, uh, how should you say, like, and I have a whole other video talking about this, but they're sort of kind of far off when, from what you'd expect, and the old 1.4 35 millimeter did, wouldn't have the corrected frame so far off there but it didn't allow you to get to that minimum focus distance either. You had to basically go into the pure macro mode, which forced it over into the EVF to get more critical close focus versus this lens where it's trying to show you the truest focus, close focus in the OVF. And supposedly there's theories that firmware 3.70 on the X-Pro2 that was just released tonight from Fujifilm. Today is uh, October 5th, 2016. Supposedly that's going to correct it. So I'm going to go ahead and update my camera and I'm going to test it out and hopefully show you guys what the impact is. Do this exact same test basically and uh, we'll sh we shall see if there's actually any difference with this lens. So I'm sure you've seen this before but I figured I'd do it anyway because someone's never done a firmware update. You basically download the firmware, put it on a SD card. You should format the card first, so get all your photos off the card, format it, put it in the computer, drop that firmware file directly on the card, like not in any kind of subfolder. And then you basically hold down the back button, turn on the camera. It tells you, you know, you need to have your battery charged and... You know, I'm actually going to follow this instruction. I'm pretty sure it's a full battery, but just to be safe, I'm going to hit back and hey, say cancel. And then it tells you to turn it off. I've canceled it. Let's double check. It is full, so I'm okay. Let me go back here. I'm going to turn it back off. Start this over. Hold back. Or hold, yeah, hold back. Turn it on. I want to do firmware, so I'm going to hit okay. Or yes and I want to do the body obviously that's what this is a for and then it confirms you know right there and double check you guys can see that do you want to update from 
361-370. I do. Hit OK. Do not open it, turn it off, yeah. It ranges in time. Sometimes it's uh, really fast. Sometimes it's a little bit slower. I think it depends on the firmware. So it's just about done. We're good. It says turn it off. Turn it back on. Camera should work all fine. I'm going to check actually what I got. So I'm going to hold display back, turn it on. And now it's confirming I have 3.70. I'm going to hit cancel and shut it off. So I'm good to go now. I, what I usually do actually is uh, I'll go in here and format the card just to get that file off the card. It's only like 39 megs or something, but whatever. So here we go. So let's do this test again. So this is good news. It looks like Fuji addressed the problem. So I'm in OVF, and you'll notice, if you remember the video earlier, that corrected IF frame was way in the corner, and I'll go back down to the exact same one. I'll go down to this lower corner, and you'll see how close the corrected IF frame... Well, actually, I guess so. The corrected IF frame has moved in. Remember, it used to be out of the frame lines, but then the main F AF frame seems like it's further down, too, if that makes any sense but there's not that huge discrepancy. The corrected AF frame, basically the non-complete square, just has like the corners. It was outside of the frame lines when I had this focus point uh, picked, and now it's not. Let's uh, kind of do the same thing again. We'll find like the minimum focus position using EVF because it's more reliable. Basically as close as we can go. And It seems like it's, I guess, the same. I'll have to look, and maybe I'll pop up like a picture-in-picture picture here to kind of show what this looked like before. It's like the frame has actually moved even out of the corrected AF frame. I don't have my 35 F1.4 anymore, but the way that would look is it would have the corrected AF frame and then the main focus point, and the green confirmation box was always in between the two. And this one is actually off to the right. That's kind of confusing and strange, because if, say, you're looking at this spot with the OVF and expecting it to focus between those boxes, it's actually focusing way off to the right. So, definitely a change. This firmware changed this on the 35 F2. Not sure it's better. It's sort of confusing. It's not going to be such an issue when you're kind of more central focus point. And it's not even the central. When you're closer to well, infinity and just not ridiculously close to the minimum focus point, like, so say, further down here. God, you know, I almost think that's worse. Ugh. I kind of almost wish I hadn't upgraded this because that's confusing to me. It's like the actual focus point is to the right of the corrected AF frame. I'm not sure why you'd ever expect it to be there. That's not how it works on the 35 f1.4. It would always be between them. So this is kind of peculiar. I'm not sure what Fuji thinks of that. And then, you know, you basically have to go to EVF to really know where it's going to go now. Like, you'd expect it to stay. Like, how about this? It should basically be on one of those, the priority mailbox. But it's basically on the ruler. And that's... That's pretty confusing. Like right there. It should be between the two white boxes. And it's com almost outside of even the corrected AF frame. That's really funky. Here's the actual photo. Well, this is uh, not a very good sign here. I'm kind of not not really pleased with this this is kind of not what I expected it to do and I'm wondering if the menus anything in the autofocus menu talking about this no it's the same it just has on and off and then the modes you know that never changed this is the old ghetto uh, modes. 
where you had the regular one, and then if you guys may recall, this was way back in the day, old school Fuji X cameras, you had the multi-mode, which was basically just garbage. It picks it for you, and it never picks it right. So I don't see any new menu item for the corrected AF frame. So, yeah, it's not really good news. They changed something. I'm not sure. I think it's an improvement. It's sort of strange, because it's basically lying to you and not telling you that it's going to focus even outside of that box. It's very, very weird. Anyway, hopefully uh, this was of uh, some value to you. I find that rather peculiar that uh, Fuji did that on this old camera. It's interesting they updated a camera this old, but uh, the update itself seems kind of suspect. Thanks.